morning everybody and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going back down to Mersey Island and I'm going to go and be a handyman for a couple of hours. Ha <laughs> ha! This is the Handyman Tricky Brickies, yeah. Looks like another beautiful sunny day down here on the island. The sun's rising up, look. The tide's out at the moment. Hopefully it'll be out when I'm done so I don't get stuck by it. <laughs> but today, yeah, we're going down to a little job I got and uh, I've got a few little bits and bobs to do around here. I think she's got a few loose bricks um, and, a, and a wall I've need to bed back in again, from what I've heard. I haven't actually looked at the job yet. And uh, what's the other thing? Oh yeah, there's a couple of block pavies, I believe, from what I've been told by the conversation anyway. A few block pavies are loose, and they want a front of a drawer sticking on or something. So uh, yeah, let's get down there, let's get down to the job, and uh, let's see what it's all about, shall we? Ha <laughs> Okay then, so I'm here on this little job, and this seems to be one of the problems. We've got some loose block pavers here, they've all come off. Doesn't seem to be enough gear underneath the end here. I would say that should have been flush. It's flushed up this end, and they seem to still be stuck on. But they've come loose where there's no... There's not enough muck underneath there. So I'm going to get some more muck, pull these up and re-stick them on, break some out, and... We've got another little issue around here. So we come round here. Underneath this, someone's bedded some block paviers on here, look, and they've all just broken off. They should be like this and flaunched up nicely. So I'm gonna break this stuff off and get this back to how it should be as well and stick them back on. And we have got to stick these two back on this one's loose this one's loose so we've got to stick them on and we need to put a new latch a new latch on the gate because this one is missing the latch so we're going to sort that out as well happy days right to the shop to go and get a few bits and bobs yeah Okay, so we've got some sand, I can use some soft sand for this, because uh, I don't want any stones in it when I'm pushing down and trying to compact anything. Soft sand's good for doing anything with brickwork, really. You'd use ballast and stuff if you want a concrete base, because the stones are in it and it makes it stronger. But between bricks, you don't want any stones in there, you just want pure cement so you can get the bricks down properly. So, we're gonna use soft sand and cement. I'm gonna mix it up because I want it to be nice and strong there. I think I'm gonna go, I think I'll go four to one. So every four trowels of sand, I'll put a trowel of cement, mix that together with some water and get it to a point where it's usable. I might even squirt a little bit of feb in it. Have you seen the feb before? When I've used that, it's a plasticizer and it makes it much more usable. You can also use fairy liquid, but it's not recommended under the ground in brickwork. But I think it'll be okay for a little driveway bit because there's no damp rising through anything here, so uh, it should be okay. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna knock that cement up first of all, and then I'm gonna pull these block pavers up here, and then we can bed them back in again. Lovely old job, let's get on that one. <laughs> there we go, they've been popped up now, and I've re-bedded them on with a nice strong bit of concrete. So they're not gonna go anywhere anymore, look. They're rock solid. <laughs> they're not gonna tip. Lovely. They should be on there good and strong now and that'll give them a new lease of life. Right, that's the first little job done. The next one is inside here. Let's do it. Look, look they're loose. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we'll break this bit of concrete off. There's some concrete. Get your words right. Tricky. <laughs> we'll take these two off. These are the loose two. The perps off as well, look. So what we'll do now is I'll get my hammer and bolster. I don't even think I need it, look. Oh, yeah, I will do, actually. I will. 
But I'm going to tap this bit of loose cement off. There we go, look. We get all this loose cement off. And then I'll re-bed these on. Happy days. Let's get a little time lapse on this one as I tap this off. Haha. <laughs> There we go, that's that all broken off. Now I'd like to get a brush in there and get any loose material out of it. So I'm going to put new cement in there, I want it to stick. If there's dust there, I don't want the new cement to stick to dust instead of the brick. Because if it sticks to the dust, the dust isn't fixed and it can come loose again. So we get rid of much dirt and all these little bits. I mean solid cement's okay if it's in there, but loose dust is not what we want. So we get as much of that out as we can. Nice and clean. And then we can put some fresh cement on it. And I can bed these two back on again. And hopefully, I know the bricks aren't the best of condition, but it's just to get them back secure again. So happy days. We get all that out. All the loose. There we go. Lovely old job. Yes. Good, now it's clean. We could put some new cement on there. Here we go then, so we've got some cement there. I'm gonna pop some on the wall now, fill that up. And then they'll go back on. Lovely, let's get them on, shall we? So we've got enough in here. This is what I'd left outside from the other bit. So let's see what we've got. Have we got enough? I might have to knock up a little bit more. Sometimes I use a smaller trowel when I'm using a bucket because I can't get the big trowel into the bucket. Ideally, you need a little bucket trowel or gauging trowel because the end's round. You can get more out. But I've, I've left it at home today. It wasn't in my box. So, I have my small, my small uh, trowel, so I'm going to use that. It doesn't hurt, as long as you get the job done. Nice and strong, the cement. I'm going to need a little bit more. But there we go. I'll get this out and I can knock up a fresh bit. I'm going to need a little bit more around the back. So it doesn't hurt to knock a little bit more up. Yep. It is very close. <laughs> Literally scraping the bottom of the barrel. Or the bucket. There we go. And we get this. Pop him on there. Just about enough. Look at that, it is enough as well. Lovely. Yes. Alright, well, let's get me level now and tap these into place. Oh, I can do it like that, look, there we go. Alright, let's get my level so I can range them through.
What a small, what a small world it is, ladies and gentlemen. The guy who delivered my uh, Tricky Bricky hoodies, which are now available uh, on the Tricky Bricky uh, Facebook page, if you want to have a look at them. Here we go. But the guy who delivered them to me yesterday has just driven past. Here's the hoodie slip. There you go. Hey, gosh. Available in sizes at the moment, medium to extra large, but we've got extra larges and extra, extra, extra larges coming soon. Boom. So, yeah, if you fancy one of these little hoodies, check out the uh, Tricky Bricky Facebook page. The link for that will be in the description. Right. Let's get this range through, shall we? Got my long level. Let's chuck it along the top there. Believe it or not. That is now bang on level. That wasn't far off at all. We going to use that through. Line it up there. Line it up there. Lovely. That's them on. That wasn't too difficult, was it? <laughs> now all I've got to do is just point these bits up. Point, point. And that's that done. So that's two jobs done. Boom. Look who's come to visit me, everyone. I don't know if you've seen him before, but do you remember on the uh, extension job I was doing? It's Dave, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Dancing Dave's back with my baby, and this is Dancing Dave's pride and joy. Have a look at this. Look at that. How cool is this, huh? Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Look. She's an old one. What year is it, Dave? Seventy-three. Nineteen. Oh, there it is. Look there. Look. Yeah. The look. Nineteen seventy-three. <laughs> and guess what, ladies and gentlemen? This is how cool Dave is, look. He's got a tricky bricky sticker! <laughs> yeah! How cool is that? Absolutely superb, Dave. What are you up to, mate? Today I'm just chilling. Nice. Just chilling. Just chilling. Nothing... Happy day. <laughs> looking forward to Monday. Monday? Yeah, we're looking forward to Monday because the pubs are opening again. Yeah! I See you later, Dave! Yeah, See ya. Nice to see you, mate. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Dave. <laughs> yeah. There he goes. Dancing Dave, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> there we go. That's that all done. Let's give it a quick little point over there and a brush off. But yeah, we're there. Look. Lovely old job. Little point up there. That's good, that just needs a brush off there, that's all flushed. So that's our little job done. Right, on to the next one. Grab this, doo -doo -doo. around here, around here, and here. Here we go. So these pavers, I'm not going to disturb this one because it's got all this posts and that on it. I'm going to take off this bit of cement off of this creasing tile here, hopefully not disturb them because they are still fixed solid here just the top's broken so we're gonna get the cement off of here and then use some more cement and bed these back on so they're back strong again so another little job not not too serious this one <laughs> none of them are really so uh yeah i'm just gonna pop these off and get these done i'm gonna show you i'm not gonna bother showing you how to knock a bit of cement off but um it's self-explanatory really just be gentle with it tap away and it should just pop off fingers crossed <laughs> Yeah, look, that's all that broken back off, look, back to where it should be. These are all on nice and solid here, these ain't going nowhere. Although that one has got a little rock in it, I might pop that one up and rebed it. But, yeah, these ones are solid. So, good, we get some muck across the top of them. Then I can rebed these block pavers across the top. And then that'll be that finished, and I'll just take the level from there to there. I mean, it's all a bit rickety and everything, this thing, so... The best thing to do is pretty much put it back in the same position as what it was before, um, regardless of level, because uh, I think this is all over the place. So we just got to make it fit. <laughs> so I'll just run these in and I'll run my level from one side to the other, from here to here, once the bedding's on. And as long as it's all touching nice and flush through there, I'll give it a little nice little flaunch up the side and we should be lovely old job. So that's the next little bit. <laughs> There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Look, I'll run it through from that end right the way through. Look, there. Although, as I said, it was running down slightly, but I've got to go with it. 
and we just range it through that way now as well so hold it on the hard part just like this Da -da. There we go, that one needs to be tapped in a little bit. There we go, we'll tap this one in a little bit. There we go. Lovely. That's them in. And now what we do is we can knock this here, look. We'll just come along and we'll flush her off. We'll flush her off nicely. And get a nice finish on it like that. Right the way along, and what I aim to do is aim my trowel here to be just a couple of mil up the side of this block pavia, and I run it down to the edge of this creasing tile. So I'm all, sort of like there, and then I slide along. You get a little bits of surplus, look, and just scrape them off, and then run it along. There we go. Just keep going along until you get a nice smooth edge. Careful not to push too hard to push the bricks inwards because we know they're in line at the moment. Just carefully go along. Run it along like that. There we go. Always pay to have a clean end of a trail when you're doing this because you don't want any bits on it making marks. There we go, look. Look at that. And that's the sort of finish you want on it. So I'm going to do that right away along there and along this back edge as well. And I'll show you that when that's done. <laughs> there we go. That's that little job done. Boom. <laughs> right, on to the next one. And this is the next piece of the puzzle we've got to do. We've got a latch here and it's missing the keep off of that side. It's actually missing everything off of it. But luckily, I managed to get it exactly the same one exactly the same one so i've obviously uh i bought it from the local shop around the corner so obviously well i would think that's where it came from before so i'm going to dismantle this one take it all off i'm going to set the whole new lock up i'm going to take this bit of timber off of here so when that shuts the keep is going to go on here and then that should hold that nice and secure so that bit's got to come off that's been put on there temporary so we'll sort that out now. We'll get rid of this. I've got me um me screwdriver, me electric screwdriver there. Battery drill screwdriver. So we'll get this all off and we'll set the new keep up. Lovely job. Go, that's the gate done. That's the shutter right now. Yeah, that's alright. I mean short of uh, taking the whole gate off and sorting out, I don't think we're gonna get much better than that. Give it a little ball. It's binding a little bit. But she's there, she's there, that's secure. As secure as the post anyway. I don't think we're gonna get much better than that. I just put a couple of chocks of wood on it. <laughs> she put a dislatch thing on it as well. Oh, I don't know. But anyway, that's there now. That opens and shuts. And it's secure. And she's got a little latch on there so she can hang it on there. Boom. I'm not a chippy, ladies and gentlemen, but it does the job, doesn't it? The lady's actually moving out, so I think they just purely just wanted the gate secure again. So there we go. I'm sure the new people, when they move in, that'll be gone and a new one will be on there. Well, it would be me if I was here anyway. <laughs> Happy days. Good. Right, last job inside. Got a kitchen cabinet just to stick the front on. And I've got some... Where are ya? Yeah, one of the cupboard doors. Uh, the drawers and doors. <laughs> Bit of the old faithful. I take the old front panel off this drawer. No nails. Stick it back on. Clamp it on. Let it stick. And then happy days. That'll be that sorted. And that'll be job done. Yeah. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's that little job all sorted. The lady is very happy with what I've done for her. She's all cool and she's paid me, so that's happy days. And uh, yeah, 
So that's the end of that one, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget tonight, I'm on Twitch tonight at 7 p.m. So uh, tune into that. There's going to be a link for that in the description. And of course, don't forget to enter. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe because the Tricky Brick is doing a competition where you can win one of these hoodies, a polo shirt, and bags loads of other stuff. So uh, yeah, hit the subscribe, and there'll be more details of how to enter the competition because uh, we've got to do a comment thing. So uh, yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to do another video for that. So ladies and gentlemen, happy days. Until then, I'll catch you in the next one. Hopefully, I'll catch you tonight on Twitch. Happy days. Have a great weekend, guys and girls. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Wow.